Hello there and welcome to a new game on the channel. This is Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Now this is an old game as you can tell from the graphics. Uh, this game I think was released in the 90s I believe. Uh, I might be wrong there but I'm pretty sure it was the 90s. Uh, it used to just be called Transport Tycoon. Then it was Transport Tycoon Deluxe and now it is Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Um, which basically means it's a community run game these days. Um, so members of the public are keeping it going and, and releasing updates um, so that it can still run on modern computers. But it's essentially the same game as it always was. I think there have been changes over time, just small additions to the game. Um, but it is basically the same as it always was. And if, so if, if you've not played this game before, it's it's a game about um, uh, resource distribution, I think is the best way of describing it. So basically you have a company and you have to um, you have to excuse me while I sort out what my company is called here. Uh, you have to transport goods from one place to another. Uh, build your uh, your company up from the ground so you start with road vehicles you can move on to uh, trains and monorails you can also build ships and you can build airport, uh, airports with uh, various different planes and, um, you can transport people between towns you can transport mail between towns uh, goods uh, sometimes they build banks and you can transport valuables and then the, the map is also scattered with various industries. So for example here you have a forest which produces wood and the wood would be needed to, to be taken to, uh, if I remember correctly, a sawmill. For example here. See, so this requires wood and it distributes uh, goods. So it won't make any goods unless it's supplied with wood. So you have to get wood from your forest to your sawmill. It then makes goods. And goods are then taken to towns that, uh, that require goods. Not all towns do. They have to be a certain size before they need goods. Then you have things like uh, here you have a coal mine. Obviously makes coal which goes over here to this power station. Uh, now obviously the power station doesn't give you anything in return but you get paid. So each time you take some goods from here to here you earn some money. And that's the point of the game and you just slowly start building up your... Um, your company. It's a very simple game. It's um, it's something that I I've, I've played so many hours. I have lost probably months of my life to this game over the years. It, it's one of those games I keep coming back to over time. Um, it's it's just very very playable. It's something you can you can lose um, you can lose an evening to this game very quickly. Um, it's it's yeah it's good fun so uh, yeah let's 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 have a go shall we let's uh, let's just get started I just want to I'm branching out I'm playing some some different games on the channel see what people um, want to watch uh, these are all games that I enjoy playing these are all everything I play is I'm playing them because I want them um, I, not because I think people want to watch them necessarily but these are all games that I play anyway um, some of them I haven't played for a while, so certainly this I haven't played for a few years. Um, the, I'm also going to be um, starting a new series in a game called Cities Skylines, which has been out for a while. And anyone who's played uh, a game like SimCity uh, will have probably heard of Cities. It's uh, basically the, the newest version of SimCity, made by a different company, but it's essentially the same game, and it is the best version of it uh, ever basically um, so I will be starting a series of that again it's a game that's been out for a while but I've not played it uh, for about three years um, so that's going to be coming out soon but for now I thought I would just dive back into Transport Tycoon and give it a go so let's uh, let's get started let's do a bit of building um, I'll pause the game at the moment otherwise your money will start disappearing so what I like to do, uh, I seem to recall, uh, it's going to take me a while to learn the game again. 
it's a good idea to try and find somewhere like this so you've got some big towns and you've got some little towns here you've got quite a few close together so this is this is going to be a good starting point so at the start of the game you really can't afford to build trains so you have to go with road vehicles and just get started um, passengers is usually best uh, you can you can do mail as well but generally passengers are your go-to product uh, so what you have to do you have to make sure that obviously that all your um, buses and things can get around so it's a good idea just to build a bit of oh, I've got to start again. Uh, just to build some roads first just to make sure everything is linked uh, so in this case I think I'm going to oops, I'm gonna just link these ones together here so that's all good people can get in here and over here as well and I might also well get this one over here done uh, so let's go like that very nice and then you need one of these so you've got a road depot here so this is where you build your vehicles and then you need a station so you get two types of road stations you get a uh, bus station which obviously just allows you to pick up uh, people and then you also get a, a lorry loading bay so this is where you can pick up mail or goods uh, and I think valuables as well and obviously if you build one of these ones out by an industry that's how you pick up whatever the industry is providing but in a town it will mostly be uh, mail that you use these for um, so originally in the game you can only build these side on ones so these these are connected on the side of a road however a recent addition allows you to build these ones which you can build in the middle of a bit of road so the vehicle will stop and then continue driving in the same direction so these are very helpful however you've got to make sure that the vehicles can turn around somewhere so you do have to be careful where you place them um, now one problem the game has is you can't always see the road particularly clearly because you can't change the angle you can zoom in but that doesn't help so you, you can only look at the game from this point of view now you can turn vehicle uh, not vehicle sorry you can turn your um, your town's transparent so if you click on that one there you go so that now allows me to see through the buildings it's very helpful uh, so you can see for example here I thought that was connected and it wasn't because a building was in the way so it's very helpful to do this just to make sure that your roads are working um, so again just here I might just connect these bits just so that places of you know buses and things can turn around in all these places again here if I was going to put a there we go let's just connect that so if I put a, a depot here it means the buses have got a full loop there to, to move around in and then I'll do the same here so I'll probably put depots there which means I really need a little loop for the vehicles to turn around otherwise what they do they just go to the end of the road and turn around there but it just doesn't look very good and you know me I'm all about the aesthetics so let's do my first one so actually let's continue with the invisibility so in a big town like this what you could actually do you could easily have a bus station out here and you could have a one in the middle in fact you could probably have one here and one here and one here but I'm not going to do that just yet I think what I'll do I'll start with one in here thinking that eventually I may well get another one sort of over here and maybe eventually one over here as well because you get a lot of people in these bus stations um, so let's just go with one there and then one there and then let's just change the direction and get one there and I think what I'll do is I will get buses set up yeah let's so let's get uh, so new vehicles you choose your buses so all your buses have got different stats they cost different amounts they can move at different speeds uh, different capacity etc now I started this game in the year 2000 you can start it early I think 1950 is the earliest and I think the latest is 2050 and obviously by 2050 you've got the best vehicles so as time goes by you develop new versions of all of these so you would start the game with these basic buses and then over time new ones are developed so I will go with the newest one because they can travel faster and they can carry much more uh, so I'm going to buy two of those 
no, in fact, I've just remembered you can do a, a clone vehicle, which is much easier. So what you want to do, if you've got, if you want to put more than one vehicle on the same route, you buy one. You then click on this button here. So it's, uh, this is where you're sending it. So go to, and you click where you want it to go. You then click the next one that you want it to go to, and the next one. Now you can just have it going between two and it will just keep going or you can do it between three. You can tell it to go after it's gone to this one. You can tell it to go back to that one on the way and then back to that one if you want. Um, in fact, I may do that. So what it will do, it will go from there to there to there to there and then it loops all the way back. So after this, the second time it's visited there, it will then automatically go back to there, which is what I want. And then instead of... Um, that. So instead of having to do that with every vehicle I want on the same route, we can click on this one here, clone vehicle, clone that, and they both now have the same um, the same route. And then you just click go, and off it goes. So here we go. So this is our first little bus coming out here. Now I have to say, this game has some of the best music ever. I hope you can hear in the background. I'm hoping I've got the uh, the volume set correctly. It's, it's classic game music. Uh, it blends in with the background, but at the same time, you can tap your feet a bit to it. Uh, it's really good fun. Uh, now, it's a good idea to split these buses up just a bit so that they don't get too on top of each other. Uh, and there we go. So there's our first two buses on the go. Now, obviously, until a bus visits a station, it doesn't get anyone waiting. So if you click on the station, it says, it says here what's going on. At the moment, nothing. It tells you what it accepts, which is passengers, but there's nothing waiting. However, as soon as you've had a bus visit, people start gathering. So this first one here has already got over 80 passengers waiting. And this second one here, obviously it's a small area, so they have a capture zone around them. So this one here will be capturing people from about that. Um, you, you can show, actually, when you click on this, uh, coverage area on oh yeah so there we go so that's what it covers which actually isn't much at all I'm always a bit surprised by that and how many people you get there so you've got 160 odd people there already and it's only covering that many houses but that means that you can then have another station over here because it's not covering the same people you could then have one back here you can have one over here um, so I, I kind of get why it's a small capture area, but um, it does seem a little unrealistic that you've got that many people waiting. But it's fine, I mean that's what the game is. So. Uh, now I would also add that in the normal game, you do have competition. You actually have um, other people, uh, other companies who are doing the same as you. However, I have stopped that. Um, frankly because the AI is shockingly bad and always has been and you end up with um, your competition building the most random roads and railways all over the map it, it was just one of those aspects of the game that never worked and so I always just played the game for fun for my own company and that's it I don't care about the competition of, of going against other players it's more about me versus the map um, now as you can see if you watch closely it's offloading and then it tells you how much money it's got so that's just earned me 333 pounds and then this bus coming in here is going to stop and that is going to earn me 303 pounds there you go um, and so the money starts rolling in now the money is shown down here so at the moment I've got 76,000 I started with 100,000 um, and if you click on it, it tells you what you're earning and what you're outgoing. So at the moment, my road vehicle income, they've earned me £1,200, £1,500C, so that will tick up quite quickly. Your maintenance is for your, um, your stations and your, your depots and stuff, I think. And then you've got your road vehicle running costs as well. Obviously, I've bought vehicles and I've built stations. Uh, so in total, I have lost money. However, they're starting to make me some money. So that's uh, that's going to start coming in soon. Uh, now, let me just see. So we've got a lot of passengers there. Not many there. A decent number there. But two buses is plenty at this station and this station. However, this station could easily get more buses going through it. 
Um, now what you can also do, you can also extend stations. So in fact what I may do, if I want to get more buses fitting in here, I may actually just extend it like that. Otherwise you end up with a queue of traffic. And what you can also do is extend them around corners. So when I want to build a mail van uh, depot, if I build it there, it's connected to this one. So it's all one station. But I'm not going to do that just yet. First I want to get more passengers going. So I want to build some buses coming over here. So again, I will, uh, I will do my station there. And in fact, I'm going to make this a double one because I'm going to have quite a few buses, I think, going between these two. Uh, but we've also got this little town up here. So let me just get in here and do the same. I'll get a station there. And I will just connect that with a bit of road. So they can loop around. And let's get some buses going over here. Oh, I've still got that open. So let's get a bus going from... Uh, this one uh, up to this one. I'm going to clone that. And I'll get both of those going. Just leave a small gap. In fact, what I can do, I can make that skip so it goes to the other one first. There we go. So that's two more vehicles on the way. Then I will do one here that goes from this station to this station and this one is going to do really well there's a lot of people so I'm going to clone this four times and I will get that one going and I will make that one skip and get that one going I will get that one to skip just give it a second and I will get those two going as well there we go so lots of buses on the go So yeah, the, the graphics are very simple, but it's one of these games, this, this is what graphics used to look like. <laughs> For all you modern people out there, all you youngsters, this is what games used to look like. As, as you zoom in, it gets incredibly blocky, and I love it. it this, games like this don't need to look good. Games like this, it's all about the gameplay and the enjoyment of playing the game. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Modern games are too much about the graphics. Um, whenever you see adverts for modern games, it's always about how good they look and how realistic they look. That's not what gaming is about. Games that, that last and, and survive the test of time are games that are fun to play and addictive to get to, to play. You know, you, you want to sit down and you want to play these games. And it doesn't matter what they look like, they just, they're just fun. It really is that simple. That's that's all you need in a game like this. You just need it to be fun, and you need it to um, you need it to be practical. So it needs to it needs to work. It needs to um, it needs to, to grab you. It doesn't need to look good. I mean, it does look good at this at this zoom level, and out here it looks great. It's only when you really zoom in here and then in here um, that it starts looking quite blocky. Um, but that's fine, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, right, let's just see how our money is doing. Okay, we're making some money. Um, I've lost money now, I've lost, yeah. Okay, so I have lost money, obviously, because I've been buying, um, oh, that's new. Or it's either new or I just don't remember seeing it before. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've played this game. Um, so there are going to be bits of it that I've completely forgotten. See, bits like that are new as well. Maybe it's updated while I've been away. <laughs> Don't know. Right. Oh, let's see, we've got some serious money coming in here. So this is this is very good news. Um, so the money is going to start going up. And you do have a loan to start with. Um, so you want to pay that off as quickly as you can. But obviously it's quite a big loan, so I'm not going... Uh, actually, sorry, that's the loan, 100,000. So I'm not going to be paying it off just yet. I want to get more money coming in first. Um, so what I will do now is extend with some mail vans. So let's have a look. Where do I want to build the mail? Um, let's go 
let's go around the corner so the mail is going on there so now you can see so filling pool falls now as you can see by these little symbols it has a, a little mail van there or a lorry and a bus so it mean that just shows that it's it, it's going to allow both now I'm not going to bother doing mail I don't think to these smaller towns because they won't produce enough mail to warrant having a, a vehicle uh, going to them but what I will do is uh, I will extend over here now I'm not sure if I build if I build there yeah it's a separate one I don't really want that um, how do I delete Ooh, I can't quite remember I think I just do that yes oh that that's not good that deleted the road I don't want that um, that's awkward I want it there because I want it connected unfortunately if I build there now this is one trick that I did learn if you can't build a loop for the vehicles to use which I can't at the moment because there's there's buildings all over here and it's not a good idea to destroy buildings to build the roads so I can't create a loop with the roads here because it's all blocked off what you can do is you just put in a small junction like that a, a side turning it doesn't go anywhere but what it means is that when the vehicles come in here they can lose that as a loop and they can turn around and head straight back I'm pretty sure I've remembered that correctly we'll find out in a minute so let's go to our depot and let's build a mail van so we've got two to choose from here uh, let's go with the more modern one yes so much quicker it holds more bags of mail so let's buy one of those and let's get that one going from there to there and let's clone it so let's get one going that way and one going that way and let's see how they get on I'm guessing there's a lot of people here we'll look at that nearly 1200 passengers there 750 odd over there how are we getting on here so 14 so not many at the smaller ones but that's fine because all of these uh, all these buses going to these smaller ones they're all going via the big ones so they're always going to be making me money uh, what you can do you bring up a list at the top here you've got these four panels here so if you click on this one here for the road vehicles it, this one will tell me how much money all my road vehicles are making so let's just oh no that doesn't actually make it bigger <laughs> okay so these are all my vehicles so I've got 10 so basically you want everything to be in black because that shows that they're making money obviously these two are losing money so far because they haven't actually delivered anything but all of these buses here you can see are making me money so that's fine that's all that matters as long as, as every vehicle is making you money then it's it's a good thing so let's see, are we getting mail? Yes, if you look at that, I've got 80 bags of mail there now and 44 bags of mail there. That's very good. So hopefully our mail trucks, yes, at the moment they're empty because they, like I say, the first time they visit the depot, it kind of triggers the goods to start arriving. So it's not until the second arrival that they actually start picking stuff up and then taking it away and delivering. Uh, so hopefully these will now start uh, picking up let's just make that invisible yes there we go so here's our mail van you can see he's loading up so he's up to 100 percent and off he goes and our mail vehicle over here has done the same uh, now i didn't actually need to do the loop over here i forgot i had a loop going that way so that little junction that i did in there was completely pointless however it does work so let's just say that I was doing it as a demonstration rather than uh, actually needing to do it um, over here you're fine because you've got the loop there so that looks good I do like these little trees that they put um, around some of the pathways that it's a bit odd I think because that's the town center and then you get these trees appear in a sort of a, a loop around the outside here um, and then when you've got uh, the invisibility and you can see all these brown places these are all new vehicle uh, new vehicles what am I talking about new buildings going up hmm. right how are my mail vans doing hopefully they've made me some money not yet that one has 495 pounds this one 
Oh, there we go. It's just got in. That's made me money too. Great. Now, I believe the way it works is the further you transport goods, the more money it makes. Um, as long as it gets there quickly. It, it, obviously, the longer it takes, the less money you make. But generally, the further you carry stuff, the more money it makes. So you want to be carrying stuff a decent length. You know, a bus going from there to there is not going to be making me much money. Um, I mean, that's 275. So that was picking up from there going to there. So it's not bad, uh, but it's not great. And obviously, as you progress in the game, you start building trains and they move much faster and they can carry a lot more. So, I mean, if you look at this, this, this town here, if I was to build a train station just down the back here, it would it would carry a lot um, so hopefully in fact I will do that uh, and something I, I have done I remember doing in the past because you don't want towns building in good spots where you might want to put a train station later in the game what I would often do is actually build down here just get some railway track lay it down in here to sort of reserve the space for later in the game but it's that's kind of cheating so I'm not going to do that um, but yeah, you've got to keep an eye out for good spots to build um, to build your stations. So there we go. That's uh, I think that's a good start. So I'm going to leave it there. You get the idea of the game. Um, I, I don't know how long this series will run for. I don't know if people actually want to watch or not. Um, I certainly am going to enjoy playing it. Uh, so I, I guess while I'm playing it, I'm going to release videos. Hopefully you can enjoy it with me. Um, I, I think if you wanted to actually get hold of this game, I think it's free. I think if you just if you Google um, Open TTD, then I I believe it doesn't cost anything to download. I might be wrong there. Forgive me if I am. Um, it may be that you have to have the original game. I'm really not sure. It's been so long since I've had to um, to download this. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's gone from my memory, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy looking at this, uh, this lovely retro game. It's certainly taken me back to my youth a bit. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna, I will continue it, so I will uh, see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're well, and I hope you stay well. Um, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.